Hey, how's it going? Checking in for today, and it's been a busy one. Um, <laughs> losing track of the days now. What is it? We're on Thursday today. So I had the last Amy webinar. Yes, that's what I did. Flipping heck, it's really, it really has been a long day. The last Amy webinar today, and it was a really good one. Uh, we've really got a good system going now. Me and uh, Mike Thompson, who's uh, basically, well, he's kind of Mr. Gen Healthy Minds, and uh, he's co-hosting, and he's he's putting polls in, he's coming back in to kind of curate the questions and, and comments and read some of them out over the webinar because I can't see them whilst I'm delivering um, with a slide deck. Uh, and it's just a really good interactive format. There's about 50 or so on the session today. Um, some really good feedback, really good engagement, like I said. And uh, yeah, there's some great content. I, I'm really kind of proud of the, the stuff that, that I've put together for this, this session in particular. This is all around physical well-being, self-care strategies, uh, but really positioning it around supporting your uh, mental health and supporting your performance and your kind of mindset and emotional regulation and all of those things rather than just being about let's get in shape, let's lose weight, let's tone up, let's get fit, let's get healthy for the future. <clears throat> Which has been my big thing, my big sort of thrust with physical well-being and self-care, high performance well-being for, for some time now. So really happy with how that went. I've got another session tomorrow for uh, a, a kind of a smaller group. I think it's about 11 or so on the session tomorrow, but we'll do something very similar again. And <clears throat> um, and then, yeah, I think we, we're probably, I don't think I've got anything booked in for next week, then a couple, the first week of May. So a bit of a lull now, which is kind of good because it gives me a bit of a break. Um, but <clears throat> some interesting, two things to kind of ca catch up on today. First of all, uh, I've had a really creative day today. Um, I spent about 90 minutes just planning and redesigning, reimagining my entire online digital ecosystem and uh, feeling really sort of motivated and, and positive about all of that. Uh, a lot of work, but it's just going to be uh, it's going to be good fun as well to, to completely bring us in, into alignment with kind of where I am now and the things that I'm doing and the things that are important to me and, and making everything sort of fit into the, the core messages that I believe to be important and, and obviously a, a representative of the business. So that's the first thing. The second thing is I read an article today that was posted in one of the groups, um, or a link to it rather, was posted in one of the groups that I'm in, speaker groups, um, about the, <laughs> the, the, the sort of the prognosis for live events and the events industry in general over the coming weeks and months. Obviously nothing's happening at the moment. There's no conferences or conventions or <clears throat> big um, get-togethers like sales kickoffs, for example. But um, you know, I think people have been looking at this and thinking, well, by sort of October, September, October, November time, then we'll be back to business as usual. But this article is suggesting that Google and Facebook, um, who put on obviously lots of big conventions through the year, um, aren't planning anything until after June, July 2021. <clears throat> so it's more than a year down the line. And uh, so the 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 Predict, prediction is that many other larger companies will follow suit and we're not going to see any live events for some time to come. So really, it pushes the need for remote um, digital content delivery uh, even more into the in, in kind of importance. And so again, I feel like I'm positioning myself quite well here with what I'm currently doing. Uh, and it's also kind of making me think a little bit more about some of the other things I can do in the space that I've got to, to rearrange the room that I'm in, to get some better kit, to get some better lighting, because I've got a good ring light, but it's a real faff to get out. So I need something that's a bit easier to, to set up. And um, also some a better webcam as well, because I'm doing a lot of cam camera work on the web on the on the Mac and the camera's not brilliant. Um, it's quite an old Mac now. So I might get an external uh, camera if I can get a hold of one because they're all sold out at the moment so um, there is that little challenge to overcome as well but uh, in general on balance feeling more motivated and optimistic positive and happy today than I have done in in a good week or so so that's that's a positive and um, as I said just feeling like I'm really reconnecting with my sense of purpose and not just the sense of purpose but a sense of direction I think that's more important at the moment it's the purpose I've not really lost that but it's the sense of direction and what I need to be doing to really create, um, to create something that is that, that I'm proud of and that represents me and, and and shares the messages that I really want to share. 
And there's a lot of work ahead, but I really want this period of time to, to, I want to remember this period of time for massive creativity and massive content creation as well. So I want to be creating and I want to be being creative. So that's the, uh, that's the plan. That's what's really come out of today. So all good stuff. So anyway, that's my update for the day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel and check back in again tomorrow for another daily update. Bye for now.